I have a couple of questions for you. How often do you find yourself wishing, hoping and even praying that things were different? Believing you deserve better, but you're doubting it and you even find yourself wandering around with your fingers crossed behind your back, just hoping things will change somehow. Also, how often have you experienced accepting how you are treated by others where they disrespect you and you don't speak up or do anything about it? Yet you know you don't deserve to be treated that way. Also, how often do you keep investing time and resources on others because you believe they need it more than you? Yet, what do you do for yourself? Is it because you're not a priority? These are examples of your self-worth, worthiness and deservedness. And they are three of the greatest influences on everything you experience in your life. They touch and influence every area of your human experience. And they touch and influence every aspect and element of your human self. They touch and influence what and how you see and hear things. They influence how you feel about yourself, your life and other people. They influence how you express your ability and your potential. They influence your decision making and choices. They're behind the relationships you're in and the dynamics in those relationships. They even influence what you buy, and they even influence what you eat, as well as what, where, and how you experience things. As I said, they influence everything you experience. And the greatest evidence of what you believe you deserve or not deserve is expressed in your choices and the outcomes you experience in your life. And your beliefs as to what you deserve or not deserve, well, they're driven by the state of your connection to your natural, limitless self-worth and worthiness. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Melinda Cates from I Make a Difference, and I explore all the human processes that require yours, mine, and everybody's attention for unraveling and healing of your human self and all the processes that require remembering, reconnecting to, and reclaiming of your true self. That is all part of your journey back to you, your soul self. Do take a moment and introduce yourself in the comments below, as I love to connect with people. And if you want to walk together, then do subscribe, as we continue to explore all of these processes and areas. In this video, I'm going to explore the topics of self-worth and deservedness with you. We're going to dive into what your true self-worth is, as well as the reactions you can experience to what you believe you don't deserve. And most importantly, the significant influence you have over what you experience in terms of your deservedness. And the steps you can take to shift your influence from being one of experiencing a lack of and what you deserve to what you truly deserve that honors you. How many times do you hear yourself voicing out loud or even screaming in your head, I deserve better than this? And more often than not, you probably voice this at times. You're frustrated, angry, hurt, deeply let down or upset. Where you voice out loud what you believe you deserve or even don't deserve because you're experiencing what you do not deserve. I even experienced this with my cat as I watched one of my very precious vases come smashing to the floor. And I even found myself crying out loud, I don't deserve to have you break things. I deserve you to respect me. Yeah, okay, they're cats, doing what cats do. But what was most significant about this is it was a reflection of my self-worth, or rather a lack of it, and that I saw the cats as punishing me and not respecting me. You cry out loud for what you hope for and wish for, but are not experiencing. Cries like, 
I deserve to be treated better than this. Or, I deserve more than this. Or, I deserve this to happen. And no doubt a common one, I deserve to be listened to. You can just hear the tone of voice that goes with that cry. And mine was always quite a vocal one. And your cries for what you believe you deserve will come at the times when you experience hardship, disrespect, your expectations not being met, and uncomfortable and even horrible experiences. Occurrences that often reflect what you see as, and potentially are, a lack in your self-worth, unworthiness, and what you are not deserving of. Such as being treated without respect, such as being spoken to in a harsh voice, missing out on the job you wanted, or someone outbidding you at an auction to buy a house. And then the times where perhaps the washing machine breaks down and you have to replace it. Or when there are issues in a relationship. And these are just a few of the things that we can feel this about. You interpret these events as you potentially being punished. And at some level, you must deserve them, otherwise you would not be experiencing them. And why do they reflect your lack of self-worth and deservedness? Well, it's because for some of them, you made choices that contributed to what you go through. You contributed to what you experience. Choices where you potentially unconsciously operated from a place of scarcity, where you had feelings operating internally of not being worthy or good enough. And for the events you did not influence but were impacted by, you can still find yourself screaming, why is this happening to me? Reality check. Every moment of every day, you are either making choices that are being influenced by your connection to your self-worth and what you know you truly deserve, or you're making choices from the parts of you where your connection to your limitless natural self-worth has been diluted and eroded, where a lack of self-worth was created, where your choices are based on what you believe you do not deserve and your feelings of unworthiness. And this is the energy that you have operating within you. And this is the energy and vibe that you're also emitting from you. This is the energy that's dominating your system. And these choices, well, they're about things that can seem so irrelevant and insignificant, yet they are so relevant and significant in terms of your self-worth. Choices you may be conscious of, and you also may not be. And if you are conscious of the choices you are making, then the question is, are you conscious of where your self-worth and deservedness is when you make the choice? Your true limitless self-worth is innately and intrinsically a part of you. The true you at the core of you, as I said, is limitless in self-worth, rich and abundant in it. And the natural you is inherently worthy and of value. Your human self along with every other person, are the ones that have created or brought forward the concept of self-worth. Because we experience the opposite of it, a lack of self-worth. And if we didn't experience that lack, then self-worth would not be an issue. It is your human experiences in this life that impacted you. And they were impacted by others' lack of self-worth and the messages that they directed, imposed, and even indirectly impacted you with. Messages of lack. Lack in terms of your self-worth, value, and deservedness. And these messages contributed to the dilution of your connection to the limitless self-worth that is natural to you. That is you, the true you. You were potentially told, you don't deserve that. Or, there are people worse off than you, so be grateful for what you have. You will have even gone without things. Things like love, hugs, attention, acceptance, and possibly even feeling safe. All 
the natural things you by birthright deserved. You may have also gone without in terms of what others received and had, including what your siblings and friends had that you did not receive. Your experiences of going without and lack became powerful conditioned messages of a lack of self-worth. So because you lacked these things, then this equal, you don't deserve them. And if you don't deserve them, then you're unworthy. And if you're unworthy, well, then you must not be good enough. And this is the processing that goes on internally in us. Then, if you did receive what you deserved, you didn't know what to do with it. Because it was unfamiliar to you, because you hadn't received it before. That's what others received, not you. When you have been ingrained with such learning, such conditioning, and the people closest to you with some of the source of these experiences and messages, then how do you know any different? You don't have reference points. However, there is a part of you that does know the difference, and you have felt that, which is why you're here. See, your true self has never doubted or questioned your worth, value, and deservedness. Your true self is there with you every step of the way, smiling as your soul sees your human self take the steps to continue to discover yourself, the steps to heal yourself, and where you're growing, as you reclaim the connection to your limitless self-worth. Your true self knows your human self is perfect, and who you are is limitless in worth and value. There are no restrictions on what you deserve. You have chosen the experiences you have so that you could learn about a lack of self-worth, so that you know, in human terms, how to identify what self-worth is. Because if you haven't experienced the lack, how would you identify self-worth? And with you listening to this, then acknowledge yourself for being aware of and awake to your true self-worth. Celebrate this. Embrace it. You see, the power is in your hands. This is your self-worth. You're the influencer of it. It's in your hands to cease diluting your self-worth and reinforcing your lack of worthiness and deservedness. And instead, it's in your hands to consciously strengthen the existing connection to your limitless self-worth. Because it is there. You just may not be aware of it. Yet, feel it within you. As I said, the power is in your hands to nurture and strengthen your self-worth connection back to the limitlessness that is natural to you. Yes, working with your limiting beliefs makes some big shifts. And affirmations, well, they can contribute to you feeling and experiencing things differently. But the magic is in the detail. The smaller things, the daily processes you work with, the daily choices you make, the fundamentals. You see, when you shift your awareness to recognize more of what you are experiencing and choosing, and when you make intentional decisions and take deliberate actions, you empower yourself to own and consciously influence your self-worth and strengthening that connection to it. When you can nail making daily choices from a place of self-worth, that's pretty powerful. This approach enables you to confidently and powerfully expand your influence on your self-worth and you get to experience more of what you truly deserve that honors you. You make choices that reinforce and enhance your self-worth and deservedness rather than those conditioned ones that reinforce a lack of self-worth. Because do you tend to look for where you experience a lack and where you're going without and what you don't have? Or do you see the abundance and the value in your life? Instead of seeing the occurrences that you don't contribute to that you experience as you being punished 
embrace them from a self-worth perspective and look at, hmm, what's the opportunity for me here? Why am I having this experience and how can I benefit from it? And when you hear people demanding what they deserve, take a moment and notice their energy and the fact that they have to demand it. What does that say to you? Maybe they're trying to convince themselves through demanding to convince others that they are deserving. And as for your cries of, I deserve better. And believe me, I've experienced all of this and I've cried those words so many times I can't count, as have many people. Well, damn right you deserve better. But rather than hoping someone or something else will make it happen for you, Rather than wandering around with your fingers crossed and your eyes squinted like the little kid at Christmas when you just hope Santa will give you the present you want. Rather than waiting for the universe to lay gifts upon you. Take the reins and make it happen for yourself so that you integrate this so it becomes second nature and natural to you. Grow your appreciation of the wonderful things that you do experience, that you have the inherent right to experience, like being loved, being treated with respect, being considered, someone caring about you, and hey, even someone making you a cup of tea or coffee. This is you experiencing what you truly deserve. Because it's time to cry out loud, or even just to yourself internally. I deserve this, because I do. It is as simple as that, because you do deserve everything wonderful in life, because you are you. And each time you acknowledge what you experience, that you truly deserve that honors you, no matter the quantity or size, the more you acknowledge and own your self-worth, your worthiness, and your deservedness. The more you expand your awareness and energy to what you truly deserve. And this process, well, it then transforms from something you consciously have to work with to a subconscious process that naturally happens because now it's integrated into you and it's taking up more space in your being and the connection to your self-worth, your limitless self-worth, is stronger. And all of that is energetically flowing through you. It's influencing you in your processing, your thoughts, your perspectives, your awareness, your feelings, and your choices. It also lessens the space for any doubt or lack to exist. And as a result, you energetically align more to what is natural to you, your truth, your integrity and your true self. Your self-worth and deservedness are more integrated within you and are expressed naturally as they are a part of you. They are you. And the vibe and energy you emit is filled with self-worth, worthiness and deservedness. You move from being conditioned and perceiving and acting in ways that reinforce a lack of self-worth to consciously changing what you've learned where you operate from a place of self-worthiness and honouring of what you truly deserve, to the place where your connection to your limitless self-worth opens up more and strengthens so that you fluidly and naturally not only operate from a place of self-worth and deservedness as to what you truly deserve, but what you truly deserve naturally flows to you because nothing's hindering it, blocking it, or stopping it. You no longer put out the limiting energy of a lack of. You no longer are looking for where you are going without and lacking. I encourage you for one hour in the day, even one day a week, and even more if you can, with everything you experience during that hour that you truly deserve, that you say to yourself, I deserve this, and don't say anything else. And don't just think and say it, consciously, energetically feel it through your being 
and embrace it and own it. For some of the experiences you have, you may find when you say these words that a fight breaks out within you. Know that this is only the old you that sadly learned you don't deserve this. That is conditioned to fighting, to keep control and to protect you, because that is what was familiar. Love this part of you, as she or he did a beautiful job of supporting you to get you to where you are now. They need to be loved, and let them know that that was what they learned, and that you're sorry they had to go through this. But now they can have new experiences with you. And that you are the one that will take responsibility for this. So they can now let go because you've got it. You may also find that when you say the words, I deserve this, it actually feels natural to say and feel this. Remind yourself that years of conditioning takes time to unravel, whatever that required time is. Doing something new in human terms but not soul terms, can take some consciousness until it feels natural again. And with I deserve this, there are no ifs and buts or justifications or reasons required. You deserve this because you do. It's as simple as that. As I said, take the reins, step into your self-worth empowerment, and instead of waiting for something to happen, Make it happen yourself, so you know you can. Then see the magic unfold as to what flows to you. If expanding your awareness of the choices you make that reflect what you believe you deserve or not deserve is something you'd like to explore a bit more about and of becoming more intentional in your decision making so that you influence more of what you truly deserve that honors you, especially in the details, then check out my I Deserve Self-Worth mini course. It's a process that will elevate your awareness and empower you in your choices, shifting you energetically with regards to your self-worth and deservedness. The link's below and you deserve to check it out. I'd love to know if what I've shared here has been of value to you and I'd love to know if it helps you to make more of a difference to your life. So do drop some comments below. And as I always encourage people, be gentle on and with you and do right by you and continue to grow your trust of your true self and soul and allow the beauty of who you are to shine because you deserve to.